she's big, she's beautiful, she's an energy trader made of mega packs with enough energy to power 300,000 homes with glorious windy energy. I'm in Hull to meet Pillswood Bess, Europe's biggest energy storage system, and this is The Fully Charged Show. The Fully Charged Show is generating positive energy with its live events all around the world. Next up, it's Fully Charged Live Canada. Click the top right of the screen to get your tickets today. Renewable energy skeptics may point out the intermittency of renewable energy sources. What do we do when the wind isn't blowing or the sun isn't shining, those so-called dunkel flowers? And actually, they are right to point out the intermittency, the non-continuous nature of those energy sources. But that's where big energy storage systems can really start to make a difference and start to actually balance the grid and make it that much more resilient. Here at Pillswood, they can take excess offshore wind energy as it comes onshore, store it here and give it back to the grid when the demand is high or when the grid is starting to get a little bit dirtier and we want to put in some more clean energy. And this one here, it's absolutely enormous. There are 78 megapacks, which together provide a capacity of about 200 megawatt hours. And that could power 300,000 homes for about two hours. It's the largest lithium-ion battery storage facility in Europe. It's used essentially to stabilise the UK grid network to help balance out uh, electrical demand and supply on the network. So here at Pillswood we're very near Hull which is significant because out there 130 kilometres at sea is Dogger Bank, the world's biggest wind farm. And energy comes from there and it comes on shore to a substation called Creaky Beck, another fantastic name. And from Creaky Beck, when the batteries are charging, it comes up into this site just through these cables over here. And they're coming on site at 132 kilovolts. So they come first through this, uh, this transformer, which steps down the voltage to a slightly more manageable 33 kilovolts which is then sent into here, which is a metering building. So we know how much electricity is coming in and how much is going out. Once it's gone through the metering building, that's when it then goes into these 40 transformers. And actually these transformers were made pretty locally by a company called Wilson's and they are made in Leeds. But those transformers step down the voltage again before putting it into those Tesla mega packs of which there are 78 on site here. Now when they discharge, the reverse happens. So the voltage is stepped up, it comes back through this metering building here, stepped up again and back out into Creaky Beck at 132 kilovolts. But I think what is absolutely remarkable about this is that you've got all of this energy here. You've got 200 megawatt hours of capacity on a site that's only a few acres and actually it's completely silent and very, very sort of subtly sat within its environment. And the team at Harmony Energy have, have been very mindful about making that happen. And in fact, that hedgerow is all thanks to Harmony Energy to make sure this can be as hidden and tucked away as possible. It was fairly straightforward to build. Uh, we, we're, we're on platforms, so there was just shy of 500 piles that we piled into the ground uh, and then we built up on top of that so all of the services that feed the mega packs they're all uh, they're all cabled above ground so uh, a lot easier to build so we haven't had to do any excavations no ducks underground so it was a lot easier to build here we were lucky because we're you know we didn't have any objections in terms of local residents um, on other sites we do have concerns because you know there have been isolated incidents around the world very isolated where for example batteries caught fire the technology we're using, which is uh, LFP technology with Tesla, uh, there's been no fire incidents on that technology, um, so less concerns. And I guess as the technology moves on, you know, safety is a major, uh, major importance for us at Harmony and for the industry in general. Um, so we've had no uh, safety incidents at all on any of our sites. Each mega pack can be isolated uh, for, from the from the majority, and uh, even even then they can then be split down. So, uh, if if from a serviceability point of view, uh, modules can be replaced one at a time without having to switch the park off. It's it's a lot easier to do. But this isn't just about big batteries that can store heaps and heaps of energy. This is also about AI. And in the case of Pillswood and Harmony Energy, who own and run this site, that means Tesla's auto bidder system. And that effectively is a super sophisticated software platform that can buy and sell electricity in real time. 
So in order to hit that sweet spot of buy low, sell high, it's monitoring all sorts of things like how much energy is being generated, how much is being used, what's the weather doing, um, and can use all sorts of factors to predict what the market might do from there. And from there, it can make a strategy of how to discharge and charge the batteries and make bids on electricity on behalf of Harmony Energy. So of course, this is about making money, but it's also about how to make the grid as stable as possible. Managing the, what we call the frequency of the network is of crucial importance. The grid has to stay within a certain frequency of 50 hertz, and batteries can respond really quickly, like within milliseconds, to make sure that that stability is kept on the grid and we therefore avoid blackouts. It makes the grid more efficient and the best example I can give you is National Grid had to pay something like £82 million to shut off wind farms. The reason they're shut off is because there's not enough demand so people aren't using the energy on the network therefore they have to switch it off. One of the things that batteries enables the network to do is instead of switching those wind farms off let the energy flow down the lines, charge up the battery at very cheap rates because the energy has not been used and then store it to be used the next day when energy is needed the most. Without energy storage, you couldn't move to a close to 100% clean energy system. You need to be able to store the power for when it's needed the most. We're only at the start of this journey. You know, we think, well, and National Grid thinks batteries will need to grow tenfold from where they are today within the next 10 years, for example. So there's huge demand for this type of technology on the system, so an awful long way to go before we see that and the more renewable energy comes online the more volatility in energy prices uh, and that's really where energy storage comes into play um, to benefit the system and, and the consumer. Here in the UK about 30% of our electricity comes from wind and we obviously want to massively increase that fraction but if we want to we're going to need a load more of these big energy storage systems to really deal with that intermittency and to make sure that our grid is as stable as possible. But I think the thing that's exciting to me is that today we've had a glimpse into our energy future, a future which is decentralised, decarbonised, AI powered, sophisticated and flexible. And for me, that is so exciting. This is a monumental shift which I am so looking forward to watch unfold.